Imagine if today your lecturer gives you a project and says, I want it by tomorrow. And if you have that project to be done 10 days continuously, I think by the third day you, will all, you would all give up, right? <coughs> but on that third day, tell yourself that what a loser am I that I'm giving up? It's just seven more days and I can easily do it. Be a winner already, you know? So that discipline of wanting something and being consistent at it is very important. <coughs> Be dedicated to what you are doing. Love it so much that you want to do it. Followed by determination. It's very important to be determined in life. And I've learned it in this journey of mine. It's not just for this sphere of my life that I got into pageantry and I brought laurels to my country internationally. But throughout your life, it's important to be determined. Because, because if you're not determined enough, somebody else will take that spot from you. And how many of us would want that? There's one seat, and there are hundreds of applicants. You know, it's like any other uh, competitive exam. If you really want it, feel it within you, and not just from your heart. Feel it from your gut. Feel it as if you're being, you know, you're withering away from inside. You know, you're coiling and you have a turmoil within you. There's a whirlpool of emotions. And translate it in your thoughts and translate it in your actions. Feel the intensity of what you want. Believe, become, and be. As a young girl, I was into sports. And my only and only aspiration was to be a Miss India someday. And rightfully so, to represent India nowhere else but at the Miss Universe pageant. We're just 150 women in this entire country with a population of 1.5 billion people who've represented India at the Miss Universe pageant. It's a big thing. And I really hope that all these women out here who are sitting amongst us, gorgeous women, understand that how grateful you are that you're here. The journey, the experience that you will get, you will embark and you will transform into a person who you won't recognize. A year back, I couldn't recognize myself. And today, I'm here standing in front of you all. Last year, I had someone else who was a Miss India five, eight, five years ago who had visited college. And while she was, you know, addressing us, all I could think of was, when am I going to be there? When am I? And that's what I did. I just followed what I wanted to. A sports person, a complete, complete tomboy, ladies and gentlemen. Never knew how to wear heels, never knew how to do my makeup. In fact, never loved Barbie dolls because I was extremely fond of guns, which brings me to the point that I wanted to join the Indian Army just like my father did, because he was my sole inspiration. But like I said, ever since I was 10 years old, I envisioned the crown on my head. And when you're young, you're just so juvenile and naive. You have a dream that you want to be something. How many of you in this audience, when you were young, you know, wanted to be a pop star or a rock star, a musician, you know, traveling all over the world, having your, you know, private jets? So many of us have all these eccentric dreams. A lot of them do make it a reality. But how many of us actually fight the odds and make it a reality? <coughs> I did that because I chose to believe in who I am, irrespective of how I looked, how I talked, how I walked.
I got the opportunity of uh, interacting with uh, some of the students here and it was absolutely lovely. Uh, the youth is so vibrant and uh, I'm very, very grateful and fortunate that I'm here. Bennett University is so huge and it's, it has a very warm and a welcoming feeling and that's how a place to worship in terms of education should be a place that is likable and warm and friendly and with a place which is willing to learn where you're willing to learn and I think Bennett University is fantastic.